Hello, it's that time of year again when I do my update on my bird room. So welcome to my bird room. This is um, the entrance to my bird room. This is actually a spare bedroom that um, I turned into a bird room. So I do have a bamboo curtain there and I added a, a sheer curtain because some birds were getting through the bamboo. So let's, uh, let's go through. Hello everybody. So welcome to my bird room. Hi, there's my rosy bork. This is Raspberry. Hi, Raspberry. So these are my three flight cages here at the back wall. So these cages house um, my bork. So they're on the left side in the middle. I have my kakaraki chisel. And then on the right, the far right, I house my budgies. So my budgies go in there and now most of my birds are out all day long from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. Let's get my canary singing. He's so pretty. So this is where they play. Gorgeous. So I have some boings there. I have the net there. And a play stand, a couple play stands. And this is where I put their water. They got a water fountain over there. And there's my ninnies up there. And there's a perch up there. He's so beautiful. So that's Sherbert, my canary. He's a red mosaic canary. He's a male, of course. Okay, so underneath the cages, I usually have storage because there was a storage shelf. So I put their blankets that I cover their cage at night with. And there's some. Um, uh, there's newspaper in, in the bottom of this one, and there's a millet, and over there. Yeah, so there's a blanket under there as well. And there goes my board. And I have their, um, a bin full of toys there, and another box of millet. And just over to the left here, I have one cage here um, that my budgie Sparkles goes into. My Sparkles was the, the budgie I hand raised from one day old. You can see her videos on my channel. And she likes her own space, uh, especially at night when she sleeps, because she can be a little bit nippy. Like there's a bork in there right now, but she can come out because the door is open. Or she, I think it's the girl. Yeah. So that's my three flight cages, and that's where they play. And now I have my Java tree here in the middle. I have it on top of my air cleaner. I have an air cleaner because you know the birds they produce dust, especially my cockatiels. I have two cockatiels, but they produce um, dust. And there's my canary, that's Shimmer. And Shimmer is another bird that I hand raised from one or two days old. I have um, her videos on my channel as well. There's a playlist of, about her, same as Sparkles. You can have a look, I'm just working on my playlist now and getting them all ready for everybody to watch. So that's one, I have two canaries. So I have uh, Shimmer and Sherbert is still sitting up there on top. So they like to come and land here on the java tree. And now over here on this wall, I have four cages. Now the bottom two cages, they house my cockatiels. They get one cage each because they can't share a cage anymore. They used to. But when they share a cage, they fight. But they can uh, certainly come out and they get along just, just fine. They like to be side by side, but not in a cage together. And on top, I have, uh, that's where my linnies, my linnies will stay. I did lose a linny, I had four, and now I only have three. Anyway, Wizard, um, he was 10 years old, he, he got cancer, an aggressive cancer. It, he just got it all of a sudden and it spread like wildflowers and yeah, so he didn't survive, he, he passed away. So now I just have the three. And also my borks, I did have four, I only have three because Ruby, um, he was 10 years old as well. He developed a bad ear infection, like a growth on his ear. I have videos about him and Wizard, um, their story there on my channel. And so those two are missing. And then I just got storage underneath there as well, blankets. I got their food is in here. And over there is um, just their storage for um, purchase, a lot of purchase. And there's also food in this container. And there's Sparkles. She's the budgie that I hand raised uh, 
from one day old. Still step up, but she does like to bite a lot. Because she's a female uh, budgie and females really always want to chew and bite. Okay, now up on my walls, I do have some decals as you can see. I have a bird clock over there. And there's my door with my uh, bamboo curtain. And um, that's a new thing I added this year is the, the little swing there. Some of the birds go onto the swing. So we're going to swing around, taking the swings <laughs> to the other side. Okay, so this side is a little bit more uh, new to me, like the, the cages and stuff. The cages are new, all four cages are new. The bottom two are the same as the cockatiel's cage. It's bigger than the ones I had there. I had 18 by 18s, and this one's 25 by 21, I believe. So my lovebird's in the left one, and he's not out right now because my cockatiels, they fight with him. So I let them out uh, separately, I take turns with him. My lower key is on the, the bottom cage on the right. He's inside the cage right now, his door's open, he can come and go, but he stays in there when my lovebird's there because he's in love with my lovebird. And the top two cages is where the canaries go. Uh, Shimmer's cage would be on the left, and Sherbert, my male, the one that was singing, he goes on the right. Anyways, what's new is I put that uh, perch up there, and the boings, and so now the birds can fly back and forth, and they can land up there if they like, or on top of the cages. But they like it up there. They've been up there a lot of budgies. Everybody's been up there. And another new thing is my uh, little storage unit there. I did have a wooden one. It was taller. And the birds started to chew it. So I took that out. Now I have this. They can't chew it. It's really heavy duty. And I can use the top to make the food or do what I need to do. Now I have a, a, a tabletop to work, work on and has the four drawers that I store, you know, bird supplies in. And my window is, um, this is a new window actually, my new patio door, it's new, because the other one was really old and it was getting cold here in the winter, um, you know, the, the air coming through, the little cracks and everything. So this is a brand new patio door, it works really good, it keeps in, in, in the heat and it keeps out the cold. And um, I've got new blinds as well, they're grey, the other ones were blue, these ones are light gray. So I got more decals on top up there as you can see. So I'll just give you a little spin around. And all under the cages I have storage. That That's more food in here as well, blankets and food. And then on the floor I have um, the carpet mats. It's, it's for wooden floors, they're plastic. I have it all under the bird's cages. right there and that gray mat there I've changed that as well I used to have another carpet that was like an actual carpet but all the bird seeds stuck to it it was really really hard to clean so this one's a smooth surface so I just wipe it off as the bird poops on it and I just shake it off if the seeds are on it it's much more easier to clean I have I have two of them and in the middle I still have my bamboo carpet which I'm going to get a new one or maybe an indoor outdoor carpet because this one's getting old. It's, it doesn't really clean anymore. It's kind of stained. It's darker. Um, it's just to protect my wooden floor. So thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you like my bird room. Give me a thumbs up if you like my bird room. If you've got any questions, just ask um, down below in the comment section. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You can hit the bell icon. That way you'll know when I upload videos. And um, hope to see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. So I'll just do a zoom around again to show you my bird room. And uh, watch out for more videos. And there's my big window while my birds get the light. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I have this thing here on my window. Some of the birds love to look outside. So this just attaches to the window and they sit up here. There's little dishes I can put food into and they look outside. And so I have these little decals on my um, window to help prevent the birds from inside and the birds outside from hitting my window. I'm gonna get more just so that um, you know they can see it. And most of my birds pretty know, they know the window's here so they don't thing into it. So there's my storage again. 
So there you go. So I'll probably just add a little bit on the end of all my birds having a good time. All right, keep watching.